fucking funny. Oh my god, I'm mean, so so good. Tell Lord Michaels. Oh my god, tell Lord Michaels. He's coming through like Roman Reigns. Oh my god, champion WWE. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Gotta get the king aesthetics, man. I'm just like the doggies. I hear Squeak Squeak and I look. Yeah, I noticed the owner. Hoo hoo. You know how much I know that I really respect comedy? She was drop dead gorgeous and by herself. That's a very rare thing in LA. I did not get distracted and go talk to the owner, that cute little pup that came up during Casey's set. Congratulations, Casey. You are an admirable guy. I have to say, now, just so you know, I'm gonna play with everybody. I'm a good doggy. But the thing is, uh, Casey has uh, achieved management status. That's a very, let's give it up for Casey real quick, you know? There you go, it's a cheat system, everybody. You want people to clap, it makes them happy. Okay, right? Yeah, it's good, it's good. Look, do you live out of the van quite literally, no shower? Oh, that was a man. I live across the street. Oh, I don't know, you were, I was listening to your material. You said that you was across country in the van. No, no, that wasn't me. Oh, you messing with me now, I like you guy. I was gonna, I was gonna make reference, but it's okay. Someone else yeah. lived in the van. Oh, I know Casey, Casey, uh, SUV. Casey lives out of the SUV, yeah, yeah, you're right. No, you didn't say you lived out of the van, that's correct. Though, Casey did say your name many times and I still forgot. I stopped smoking weed recently. <laughs> oh, that's probably true. You said truck. You did say truck. I remember that much. You probably get the truck stuff, though, man. Semi-trucks. Semi-trucks, yeah, man. I always wonder about that, the semi-trucks. I was gonna say, uh, you you remind me a lot of like uh, what we'd say Ben Stiller's face, and then the demeanor and attributes of Dan Cook. So take it for what it is, kind of sir. I appreciate the material. Hey man, the mic man liked it. Uh, you, I would never say any cruel words. You remind me an awful lot of my favorite comic. Well, one of my favorite comics out of Seattle. He's gonna be coming uh, on the twentieth to LA. He's gonna be coming down. His name's Andy Harder. He's a dog watcher, dog take care of, and conveniently enough, sometimes he can also stay at the people's places. But I'm sure that's your dog, right? It isn't. Perfect. You might be just like Andy. You'll like him when he comes down on the 20th. Uh, if you're not familiar with my cadence, I am promoting things at the same time. Lord Michaels, thank you so much for a reason to exist. Get out of bed in the morning. Quite literally, everything I do is for Saturday Night Live. Uh, the FPS does not stand for first person shooter. It does not stand for frames per second. As you can tell, I'm not buffering right now. It stands for Future Players Society. It used to have the appropriate comma, uh, apostrophe, excuse me. However, nobody wanted to join my cause. So now it's singular. It's still a Future Players Society. Homage, 1975, not ready for prime time. Neither am I just yet, but don't kill us me. I haven't done any accents, though I could consider it. Uh, I know by my appearance what I look like right now that I probably rushed from work at a restaurant and I know what you're thinking folks oh god I hope I never eat at that restaurant relax that's not the case uh, I simply am dressing for the job I'd like someday as I was taught well by my grandfather and uh, improv Hollywood I am available uh, laugh factory I am available if you want to give me that job. No, no, uh, I, I, uh, it was laundry day. Well, actually, they just decided today of all days that they were going to fix the plumbing. And so they had to shut the water down. Okay, I'm going to be perfectly honest here. I did dress just for that bit. I literally thought about it. And I'm like, you know, that'd be pretty fun, right? Uh, what else can I do? Uh, well, I am a smart enough. If you haven't noticed, I'm melanin impaired, folks. That's on account of being an American Irish Scotsman. Uh, so I won't call commentary to the one person in the audience. He's used to standing out though, I'm sure. Just playing along. Uh, what else? Who else have I missed? Well, I know you from Can't Even Comedy. Uh, wonderful Mike. Highly recommend going to Can't Even Comedy. See, they're slowly promoting these things. Lord Michaels, I'm very good at this. The one thing I know is don't fuck with the censors. And I, I love the censors. 2021, baby. All about the women especially. Righteous. Is that your son? All right, cool, man, because sometimes kids walk up to me at the park. I have that energy. <laughs> it's very uncomfortable. I'm just sitting there drawing, and suddenly a child comes up, and I'm not your daddy. I, I don't know what to say. I Don't cancel me. Don't uh, gillis me, as I like to say, Warren. Uh, 
Seriously, uh, kids do want to, but congratulations. So, not your dog, but it is your son. That's wonderful. An achievement, I must say. The future generation. That's why I am the future player. He's going to probably be lucky enough to see me on SNL someday. Lauren, I'm available when you want me. Uh, let's see, that's wonderful. Um, timing is important. Uh, sometimes a message is important. Uh, I could berate my audience. That is a common, common thing to do. Uh, I could do jumping jacks. I could do a little jig. There's a lot of ways to eat up that minute, but technique and experience, which I have, Lauren, is learning how to fulfill the mo moment, the one minute. Hopefully I'll time this right, Lauren. Otherwise I'll edit it. But since there's mostly gentlemen, in fact, all gentlemen in the house, especially the youngster, I will just leave you all with one simple fact. I recently realized why we must always give all women the last word, always. And it's simple because they're the ones who have the periods. Thank you.